God kept bringing back the word Joshua to me, Joshua. So I want us to go quickly into the book of Joshua so we can see the promises of God. It says here in verse 2, it says that Moses, your servant is dead. Now therefore arise and go over this Jordan. If we've been following the prayer tone, mostly one of the ministrations that have been coming forth is the question of rising up. That it's, it's our time to rise. Rise up from where you are to begin to enter into your destiny. To enter into your worthy place. To enter, enter into the promises that God has for you. And God has so many promises for you. A lot of times we come here and we gather and we pray and seek his face. But the question is, once you finish the prayer time, what do you do after? Is to take the word of God because the enemy is going to contend against that word. But you must stand on the authority and integrity of the word of God. That God has said it this last 90 days. That God has said it. There is a performance of the word of God that will come to pass in my life. And until I see it come to manifestation, I won't stop. I will continue to stand on the word of God until I see it come to pass. That is going to be your testimony over the next days, in the month of August, in the month of September, in the month of October, November, December. One thing is guaranteed that we will all testify about the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. That is without question. Everybody will have a testimony about what God has done. You will tie one thing to 23 prayer tone. That is by virtue of me attending 23 prayer tone. God did this in my life. God did that, did that in my life. That will be your testimony in the wonderful name of Jesus. It says here, every place, verse 3, every place that the sole of your feet will tread upon, I have given you, I said to Moses, as I said unto Moses. He says, from the wilderness and this Lebanon, as far as the great river, river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites and the great sea towards the going down of the sun shall be your territory. God is saying he has given you the territory. This is the word of God. It's not the word of man. So whatever your territory is, it may be at your place of work. It may be in terms of your finances. It may be in terms of your business. It may be in terms of the issue of the womb. It may be in terms of trusting in God for my spouse. It may be in terms of immigration. Whatever that territory is, God says, I've given it to you. And every time God sends a word, he backs up his word. I said earlier that God is not a man that he will lie. Neither the son of man that he will repent. As he said it, will he not yet do it. As he spoken it, will he not yet make it good. The scripture makes it clear to us that every word that God promised, he told Joshua, that every word that he promised to the children of Israel, every word came fulfilled. Not one word went unfulfilled. So God has spoken a word, he will bring it to pass in your life in the precious name of Jesus. But verse 6 is crucial. He says, be strong and of good courage. For to these people you shall divide what unfulfilled. So God has spoken a word, he will bring it to pass in your life in the precious name of Jesus. But verse 6 is crucial. He says, be strong. And of good courage. For to these people you shall divide what unfulfilled. So God has spoken a word, He will bring it to pass your life. Those 90 hours ought to sustain us to let us know God, you have spoken it. This challenge will not devour me. This challenge will not make me confess the negative. This challenge will not make me say anything contrary to what you have spoken concerning my destiny, concerning the purpose of your plan, plan of God for my life. And so will it be in the precious name of Jesus. Verse 8 says, This book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth. But you will meditate in it day and night, so that you observe all that is written therein. For then shall you be prosperous. In the name of Jesus. Verse 8 says, This book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth, but you will meditate in it day and night, so that you observe all that is written therein. For then shall you be prosperous. In the name of Jesus. Verse 8 says, This book of the Lord shall not depart from your success. Mouth. Complete success in, every, in your marriage, in your home, concerning your health. You will experience complete success. That is the word of God for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 9 says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid or dismayed, for God is with you <laughs> wherever you go. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people saying, pass through the camp and command the people saying, prepare provisions for yourself. For within three days, you will cross over the Jordan to go in to possess the land which the Lord your God is giving you to possess. We're going to possess our possession in the precious name of Jesus. We've been prophesying it over the 90 days. So it is not an exercise in futility. We believe without a shadow of doubt that every word we've been confessing here, God will bring it to pass in the precious name of Jesus. You will be the first partaker in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be the first partaker in the wonderful name of Jesus. You will come out, come September 1, at our praise and prayer night to testify that this is what God did by virtue of me attending prayer turn 2023. This is what God did in my life. That will be your testimony in the wonderful name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. In the of time, I want to encourage people, if you're watching online, we bless God for your life that you've been watching over the last 
since Wednesday all the way to Saturday. But I want to encourage you, as the hours are winding down, we're going to have a power service tonight. You don't want to miss out on this time of divine encounter. We want to thank God for the life of Pastor Lake Sanusi. The ministration was a blessing. A true man. And that's why I'm saying there's a difference between when somebody stays online. You cannot experience something like that staying online. It's a completely different experience when you come into the house of God compared to when you're watching online. So I want to encourage you. If you haven't attended any of the 90-hour sessions, don't let this time pass you by. Don't let it pass you by. The scripture makes it clear to us that there was a man who was lame for 38 years. But every time the angel of the Lord came to steer the waters, and as many as stepped into the waters, they received their divine healing. God is here. God has been staying in the waters since the time we started prayer -ton. The issue is, are you stepping into the waters? The fountain of living waters is here. Here to restore us, here to refresh us, here to give us the water of life. But the question is, would you stay at home and say what I'm having is enough? Or you come to experience the fullness of his glory, the fullness of his power. I want to encourage you to come this evening, usher your way in, and be a part of what God is doing. And you'll be truly blessed in the wonderful name of Jesus. On Sunday, by the grace of God, Pastor Nicky Sanusi will also be ministering at our joint Thanksgiving service. You don't want to miss out on that experience. Come and you'll truly be blessed in the wonderful name of Jesus, in the precious name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. At this time, I want to welcome our pastor, Pastor Limede, uh, at this time. Good evening. Uh, once again, we want to welcome every one of us to the evening rally today. And it's my prayer for every one of you that your life will be an expression of the faithfulness of God in the mighty name of Jesus. That even as you have come tonight and those online as well, just like Pastor Tunde said, if you can still make it here, please make it here. Something I better felt in person than online. And this is one of such. So we want to encourage you. If you are in the area and you can still make it, please make it here. And God will honor you for that. Um, we have Pastor Shei Malomo in the house this evening. God bless you. He's a friend of the house. Always good to have you. Thank you very much for fellowship with us. Once again, we have uh, Pastor Leke Sanusi in the house this evening. Amen. And I just want to stand here this evening to celebrate the grace that God has released upon him in an immeasurable measure uh, in the area of prayer. You know, he's a man that God has blessed in so many diverse ways. You know, he's asked, just like I said yesterday, he's um, trained to be an attorney, you know, but he gave that up for the sake of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, he pastors one of our churches in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Victory House in London. And by the special grace of God and the unique grace that God has released upon him, he is the chairman and the coordinator of our mission in the entire United Kingdom, where he oversees over 800 of our churches. But we celebrate you this evening, Pastor Leke. Thank you very much for always uh, being a great blessing. Please join me this evening as we bring to the podium Pastor Leke Sanusi. The glory must be to the Lord, to Jesus, for He is worthy of our prayer. Yeah. 